No, you're too pretty to be gay. Ugh, what a waste. So what did a guy do to make you this way? I don't get it, you're so pretty. You could easily find a guy. Huh, you don't look gay. No, you're just bi. Oh yeah, prove it. If you didn't want to talk to me, you could have just said so. Oh my gosh, you are so pretty for a lesbian. Yes, we have all heard them and there are millions more out there. Those are just some of the common things that femme lesbians hear every single freaking day. So yes, by now, judging off of the intro and the title of this video, I'm sure you know we are talking about being a femme lesbian. Now, just a little disclaimer before we jump into everything, I am by no means saying that being a femme lesbian is any more challenging than being another type of lesbian or another type of gay. Woo! There goes my vote. Or another type of gay or LGBTQ plus anything. I just personally relate to this and I know I get asked, did that just fall again? <laughs> I just personally relate to being a femme lesbian because I identify as one. And so many of you ask me questions on how I deal with these common nuisances and even more extreme issues every day. Also, yes, I realize I look naked. I didn't realize until I got dressed and I don't feel like changing, so, you know, clickbait. I look naked and this says lesbian in the title. Let's start this out with a quick little story time. This is a story that has left a very lasting impression on me. It is the most hurtful time I've ever been discriminated against for being gay, and it was by a very unlikely person. So, I was in Dallas with my ex-girlfriend, and it was Halloween time, and in Dallas, they do a big, like, gay parade festival around Halloween, and it's really fun and awesome and great. So, while at said festival, my girlfriend and I needed to use the restroom, and we were in a bar, so we went, the line was extremely long, and there was just one little stall. We were just chatting with people in line, having a good time and eventually realized that the toilet paper ran out. So my girlfriend took one for the team, went down to the bar, got a stack of like bar napkins, came back out, handed it to the girl who was in the restroom and divvied it up between everyone and we continued our conversation. Everyone was nice and sweet and it was going really well. Then the individual behind us was for lack of a better term and just to set the image, I don't wanna identify for her, but I'm going to just assume for the story, she would label herself as a butch lesbian. She had been in the line the whole time. She saw how nice we were all being to one another. It was a great vibe and she ruined it. As we're talking to her and she asks if we're together and we excitedly are like, yeah, we are, thinking that she'd be like, yes, power to it because unfortunately a lot of times when I go to gay bars I'm assumed that I'm just like a gay guy's best friend that's there for fun. It's very annoying and yet another issue being a femme lesbian but that's for later on. After we let this individual know that yes we are together she looks at us both up and down laughs in a very sarcastic rude <laughs> kind of way and goes no, you'll both be straight or bi within a year. <laughs> I was like, uh, huh? What? For me, I was out, completely out, comfortable with who I was. My ex had just recently fully came out. So yeah, not the nicest thing to hear when you've just finally embraced who you are. And we, used the restroom and immediately went to leave, had problem finding an Uber, walked pretty far and just were like fuming. And at least at the time, we were both very calm individuals. We didn't go off on her, today I would have. Back then, nope, didn't I think. I don't even remember what we ended up responding to her because I was just so taken back by it, but it was not a good feeling. We went home and we're just like, this is ridiculous. And I think that it's a 
big problem, and not just for femme lesbians, but for a lot of different minority groups within our LGBTQ plus community, that we bring each other down. There's already not a lot of us out there. Why on earth, after you've been discriminated against in your life, would you then want to put that on me? I don't get it. I never will. I will never comprehend why anyone within a group in a community is valued as a lesser because I like to do my hair and wear dresses. Actually, I'm going to take this opportunity to show you guys something really cool. This is not related to being a femme lesbian, but it's very much so related to the discrimination within our LGBTQ plus community. And it, oh, it upsets me so much. It just irks me. But there's this incredible pin that I was sent. The city of Philadelphia's Office of LGBT Affairs has created this new inclusive campaign, which is the hashtag more color, more pride, where we all know the iconic rainbow flag, but they've now added the black and brown stripes to the top of the flag. And it's to recognize the contributions that people of color within our LGBTQ plus community do every single day. And it's all about getting the conversation going, about talking about the lack of inclusive within our community, which I'm sure you guys can tell that I'm very passionate about and it drives me insane. It just doesn't make sense to me. Why would we do that? Let's stand together. We're more powerful with more numbers behind us. Let's lift each other up and support one another. We can all relate in one way or another, even if that one way is that we've all been discriminated against at one point or another. Whew, okay, my tangent is over. Let's just stop the discrimination. Now into some hopefully more lighthearted stuff. This next one to me is definitely a con, but to some people, and I think who aren't femme lesbians, see it as a pro, and that is that we can fly under the radar and not have to come out. However, on the other hand, we have to come out every single day. When I meet a new person, they don't immediately think, oh, maybe she's gay. It's very oftentimes just assumed that I'm straight. So it can be hard and frustrating to constantly come out. And on the other side of this as well, when you like girls, they don't even assume that you're gay. So you always have to kind of make the first move and show them, hey, me, gay. <laughs> Even when I do make it extremely clear, I feel like at least people still seem to question it and be confused. If I refer to someone as my girlfriend, people generally think I'm talking about a friend. Does anyone even really use that phrase anymore? It feels like such an old time phrase that I hear no one say, but when I say it, people think, oh, she must use that phrase because there's no way that she's talking about an actual girlfriend. They're always like, girlfriend or girlfriend, girlfriend. And I'm like, yes, we have sex. <laughs> and at a bar, if a man hits on me and I politely tell them, I'm sorry, I'm not interested because I'm gay, they think I'm just trying to get rid of them, which I think is a whole nother issue. To me, if I went up to a girl and I hit on her and she said, oh, thank you so much, but I'm actually straight, I would never say, if you weren't into me, you could have just said so. Like, what? That's so silly. And if you do genuinely think I'm lying about being gay to get rid of you, wouldn't you just take that as like a subtle rejection and just walk away? If I am straight, I would just have to be like, yeah, you're right, I just think you're gross. Like, what? <laughs> There's no good outcome in that. Just take the rejection gracefully, whether you believe it or not. And then there's the little issue of um, everyone sexualizing your relationship. I have had so many people say creepy comments in public if I'm with my girlfriend talking about how beautiful of a couple we are and much more worse stuff than that that he don't even want to repeat. But they would never say it to a heterosexual couple. So why is it okay to be so invasive on mine because we're two women? It's creepy. Please stop it. Okay guys, I hope this video helped you out in some way, even just to let you know that you're not alone. There are so many femme lesbians out there. We feel the struggle every day. We are experiencing it all with you. 
and we just have to keep showing people that we're here and eventually it will become more normalized and we won't have to explain ourselves quite so often. So be that voice, be that trailblazer, make it easier for those coming after you and just seriously keep being you. It's all you can do. I love you guys so much. There is going to be a live chat tomorrow over on my live me. I will put that link in the description box below as well. I haven't settled on an exact time, so feel free to comment below when you would like it to be. Just make sure you say your time zone or do it in LA Pacific time zone so I know what you're talking about. And I will also be at VidCon next week, but only for a day, so I won't be doing a meet and greet, but if you're there and you see me, please come say hello. I might try to save some time Friday before I have to leave to come back to LA to just let you guys know where I am and do an impromptu one. So make sure you're following me on Twitter. I'll probably announce it on there. I will then be flying to New York for Pride and I'm so excited to see you guys. I am absolutely going to organize a meet and greet there for sure. So stay tuned for the information on that and I hope to meet so many of you lovely little angels. Have a great weekend. I will see you next week and hopefully in person. Bye guys. Okay guys, real talk, this video is getting to be entirely too long. There's an entire Q&A portion of it, but I'm gonna split it into two videos to make it easier. If you are interested in seeing a video on Q&A about being a femme lesbian, let's get this one to 2K likes, and I'll post it tomorrow morning. I believe in you, you can do it.